Hello and welcome back to my online singing sessions. I've had a week off uh, and I am just doing a quick re-record of the session from Monday the 25th of May because after that week off I completely forgot to reset my sound settings and there was lots of horrible distortion so we're going again. Uh, this week we are focusing on the steps that I go through when I'm teaching a new song or when I, it's the rare occasion that I'm learning a new song myself. Before we get into that, I want to say thanks to all of you who got in touch over the last week to let me know uh, what you're getting out of these sessions and what you'd like to see in the future. I promise I will get back to all of you. I do want to address one question uh, right away, however, which is the question of the toilet paper. Yes, I do regularly have a roll of toilet paper there. Uh, it all started with my very first choir Zoom rehearsal, which happened in the first week of lockdown here in Sydney. Uh, and as a bit of a joke, uh, we decorated with a toilet roll and kept adding toilet rolls just to see who noticed and as a little bit of a, a running joke with the choristers. Uh, and it, now the toilet paper is a thing. <laughs> um, I'm sure that those of you watching from overseas will know that uh, we had a big um, toilet paper hoarding incident here in Australia. So, yeah, may those dark days be long behind us. All right, we are going to get underway. Uh, and we're going to start with a stretch. And for that stretch, I'd just like you to bring your shoulders up to your ears and hold. And drop those shoulders. Excellent. And a little breathing exercise next. Put your arms up over your head and just breathe in through a nice open mouth. It's really hard to take a shallow breath when your arms are up over your head. So breathe again, right down into your tum. Excellent. All right. We are going to start the singing with some twang arpeggios, meow and then quack, like this. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Make it nasty. Meow, meow, meow. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that is our Jack Russell Terrier Max. And I always know when I'm getting the twang right because it's the only time he ever sings along. Here we go. Let's sing with Max. Meow, meow. Swapping to quack. Quack, 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 quack. Where he thinks he's Maria Callas. Here we go. <laughs> I think that's quite enough of that. Oh, Max, one day he's going to pop out the perfect arpeggio. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to do something more civilized, and he won't sing along to that. Snee or so S N E. Oh. 
And now, just vowels. E, E, A, O, U. All on one note. And this time, as you sing these vowels, I want you to think about which vowel is your best vowel. And by best vowel, I mean the vowel that is most clear and most resonant, and that also feels free and easy to sing. So as you work through the vowels, think about which vowel that is for you. Now, when I originally recorded this, I picked O oh as my best vowel. I'm not sure it's uh, my clearest and most resonant today, but I'm going to go with it for the sake of consistency. Turn now to uh, the music, Ombra Mai Fu. This is a gorgeous aria by Handel, and you will find the link to the sheet music in the blurb to this video. It does come in a couple of different keys. So if you get through the end of today and go, I'd really like to sing this aria, but in a different key, you'll probably be catered for. Um, but personally, I think I should have been born a countertenor because uh, that seems to be the range that fits best for me. So this is the key that we are going to be going with for today. Uh, it's not an easy aria. There's not a lot of notes, but they do move around the range a bit and there are some long phrases. So don't worry if you have to sneak an extra breath or if you find it tricky to sing, uh, just enjoy it because it's a really beautiful melody. You may recognise it when you hear it. If you do read music, dive right on in and sing with me. If you don't read music, I'm going to sing each chunk of the music twice so you can join in a second time around. The point of this exercise, the step one in learning a new song, is to pick your best vowel and to sing the whole piece on your best vowel. We do this for a couple of reasons. That single vowel rather than text helps give you a really connected phrase. And good connection, I think, is the basis of really good singing, no matter what kind of singing you're doing. Your best vowel also helps you to find the sweet spot in your voice, no matter where in your range the music goes. And it provides a good benchmark for uh, where that best sound is for you. So pick your best vowel. Like I said, today I'm going with oh. You go with whatever works for you and let's sing this piece of music. The version that you have has a page of recitative at the beginning. That's that kind of busy looking music. We're just looking at the aria. So starting on page two with the words ombra mai fu. No text today, just your best vowel. I'm going to give you a bar in and then we're going to sing. chunk again. So all the way through this, I'm working to try and make sure that that vowel sounds as consistent as clear and as clear as possible. So if the sound starts to get a little bit fuzzy as I move through my range, I'm working to bring it back into a similar feeling place to where it was when it felt good, strong and clear. We'll go again, same chunk. Oh, 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 oh. 
on into the next chunk. for me I need to work on bringing that sound further forward if I'm going to get the sweet spot sound happening so let's go back and do that chunk again this is from the second ombre my fool the low one after two one two oh. phrases from this cara ed and uh, one climax so nice flat tongue shoulders switched on throat muscles feeling wide whatever vowel you pick two and just on that one vowel. Those of you who thought maybe I'd spend the last week practicing my piano so I'd be better at it, you'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Sorry about the bung notes. Enjoy the sing. One by in. Oh, 
Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Max, to Jack Russell for joining us as well. See you next time.